one of my most indelible memories will, will be you know, our kids. We wrapped up a team meeting to get them a workout, talk about, you know, what was put in place academically for them, athletically for them. And then we had a bunch of guys pack boxes, you know, for the rest of our student athletes, for the rest of our campus. Uh, that impressed me about the character and leadership. And we've kind of taken that experience. People bo uh, bounce back home down to Florida, Alaska, California, or otherwise. And we start putting together a plan together to make sure we could install an offense and defense on this virtual basis. So just like our spring ball schedule would have been on campus, Mike, uh, we've been meeting with our guys four days a week and, and, and keeping a pretty intense installation schedule on both sides of the ball. I, I couldn't be more proud about what our kids have done. Yeah, I'll, I'll take ownership and, and coordinate our offense as well as coach the quarterbacks. Um, so just talking about a new offense, there'll be a spread system. And um, I think the talent that's over there certainly starts with Chris Allen as a quarterback. You know, you're attracted to what he was able to do as a true freshman, get thrown in the fire. And certainly you watch his high school tape and you're excited about him in this offense. He's been a gem to coach uh, from afar, but just picking up the X's and O's part. I think we've got ourselves a quarterback that can win some football games for us. In the backfield, you talk about Kobe Brooks as a downhill uh, dude that can run through between the tackles. He looks like me back in the day, Mike. He's all strapped up. I love watching Kobe in the weight room. Uh, Ryan McCrum, uh, a local kid from Avon Lake, I would expect to get the ball. And then there's some guys on offense that I think have this skill that we can do some things with. We'll be a dynamic offense and, and slip some guys in different directions. Uh, east, west, north, south. You know, the story kid, I think, could play at a variety of levels. Timoni, Miles will lean on outside as a senior receiver. Uh, Kyle Russo, you know, kid from the Pittsburgh area that I'm excited about, the way he works, learns, and his ability. And then uh, Savion Munez, I thought, you know, cut a couple touchdowns last year. He's got one more ride as a wide out, and away we go. And I think one one of the guys that stands out and returns for us is Brandon Davies, you know, a tight end that you couldn't really make a more picturesque six foot three, you know, 215 pounds, runs well. Uh, we're going to block with him a little bit here in the 2020 season. I'm excited on that side of the ball. I think there's enough talent and athleticism. Guys are gonna have to work and understand a brand new offense, but it's gonna be a fun and exciting one. The spring for us has been a great opportunity experience to really learn as we go. And a lot of that comes from understanding who we are um, as a defensive unit personally, um, off the field for the most part and getting to know these guys on a really unique level um, in terms of where we're not in the classroom with them physically on the football field as well. Um, so developing some of those relationships, getting to know these guys as much as, you know, they're getting to know us as the events coaching staff as well too. Uh, you know, kind of piggybacking on what departed from the Teals in, you know, 19 season, we have a lot of guys that are gonna come in and improve themselves and the guys that, you know, stand out here for me, just kind of in our conversations and our meetings throughout the past, couple of weeks, you know, up front, obviously that's where it starts. And a guy like Etchin, you know, what he's done in the past and what he brings as far as someone that's has that experience that we're going to lean on, not only from a defensive unit on the field, but as a coaching staff as well, too. Understand those strengths and what, you know, he excelled at up front for us. Luke Buck, a guy I've had a lot of conversations with, you know, personally coaching the linebackers, being in that meeting room with him. And I think this really can be said for Luke, but for the defense overall, it's just a, a really heady, smart defensive football team. Guys that understand schematically the big picture, not only necessarily what their job and their responsibility is, but how do the other pieces around them, those moving pieces that a lot of times, how does that fit into what we are doing defensively? And in the secondary, a guy like Christian Arnold that got some snaps last year as well too. Um, it's been a great experience um, and a new experience as we attack this. Um, we finish here in the spring, but something that I've been very excited about, I'm very pleased with um, our folks, and our development, and the communication that we've had, you know, back and forth uh, between players and coaches. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll continue to kind of be ahead of the curve, and we hope in terms of recruiting and development, our current guys have done a great job, and we piece them into the recruiting puzzle 
starting on the 2021 crew, Mike, as he said, a uh, number of virtual visit days. So people can not only take a look at one of the more unbelievable spots in the country to call home, but also meet our staff, you know, get a chance to feel tangibly the personalities, the culture that can be built here as we welcome them to elite. So despite the ability to walk into a high school and, and meet some kids face to face, which, uh, stinks you know with, with something i'd be loving to do uh, we're going to do it on a higher clip and find ways to connect with those top rated kids that we believe could be welcome here to the omen family